Kaboom. Okay. I was I'm over there. The hell portal is now open back on Mars. Lost in the hell dimension, you're unable to stop the demons from absorbing our world. Kill everything you see and find a way back. Gotcha. Into the fire. Hi. Great. Explosive shot. Now that I've picked up the Gauss Cannon, which I did between upstream while I was looking for the secret I missed. So I can't upgrade it yet because I need a drone. I should probably save for a night. I need to kill summoners. Yeah, I'll save for it. Let's go with the heavy assault rifle. What do we have? Just about nothing. Here. Did you miss me? Yeah, who left ammo for me? Argent cell? Where? Where is the Argent cell? Below me. Everything is below. Of course, you're in hell. Only ways down. Wonderful. We'll set up a portal device at the tube. Use the light poles to mark our path. Is that? Is that him? Was he here? You mean you knew about all of this? Of course you did. Wait, what was the doll? I'm over here. I shouldn't be over here. I need to open this door. How do I open this door? There's gotta be a way, right? get them. Where is everything? This map makes no sense. How do I... wait. Can I climb up here? No. Everyone loves invisible walls. Can I do something with this?
Okay. I'm guessing it's locked until I get something. I don't really need the armor. The music started. I want the secrets. And I want the fuel. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I want the secrets. There we go. Secrets. Right. Hey Revenant. How about a bullet to the head? To the head. That looks gruesome. Okay. How do I get there? I'm guessing later. There is a rune trial. Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, what the hell is it? That looks important. A little golden data log. Okay. How do I get in there? Is that the yellow skull key? Yeah, yellow skull key. Oh, hi. Who's following? Like you. How am I already on low health? <sighs> All the way up here. How 
the hell do you get there? That's not good. Well, I am in hell, so... Switch it up. Was the Mancubus? How the hell you get the? Probably the other way around. Yeah. Yellow skull key. Where'd you go? Ah! 
Oh my god, okay. skull door and then there's the urgent cell climb the thing and climb the thing that's the urgent cell behind the blue door That's the rune trial. How do I open this? How in the hell do I open this? Keys. Yellow skull key. Okay. Now we're cooking with heat.
Damn. Thank you. Up, God damn it. <sighs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Who's coming for me? Coming. Oh, he missed me. Yeah, a lot of Gotcha. Ow. Challenge complete. Uh, what exactly does that give me? Holding the weapon mod to lock now supports up to three targets. Focus will be divided. Slayer's Torment. Damn, I'm low on HP. Cool. Clear. Love the arenas. Really beautiful. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, anything I might have missed over here? I don't think so. How about going back for that armor?
And for the health. I can do better. Wait. Uh. Thank you. Feels so much better. <sighs> Didn't leave any health on the ground though, did I? I did. Okay, all clear. Excellent. Back in fighting shape. I dislike your floating orcs. They're very ominous. So I already have Yes, thank you. Oh, now I get it. It's annoying, but I get it. Uh Hang on a minute. How come this doesn't open? Why is everything so locked? Fine. I'll use the floating stairs. Obviously. Okay, before we take the teleporter, as this obviously is. Thank you. Astro guy. Before that, did I miss anything else? The data log, the elite guard, Astro guy, and the rune trial. Last teleport. Fine. At least I can teleport back.
Hi. Aren't you coming? Oh, you're throwing fireballs at me. You know I can throw too. Just give me a second. Are you done throwing stuff? There's quad damage down there. Better switch to something powerful. Oh, you ready? Let's go! Kako Demon! Ow. You and me and quad damage. No, give me multi lock. Um, you're in two pieces, man. Anyone else? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh my god! Come here. <sighs> I hope someone has some more health packs somewhere. There we go. Kill imps with a super shotgun to allow movement for 4 seconds. Imps may be killed or spared at your discretion. Reach the altar before the timer expires. That's interesting. Reach the altar. Savagery. Not the challenge. What? I said start the challenge. Start the challenge. Um... Damn it. <sighs> mm. Okay, slightly more finesse. Got it.
Sheesh. Super shotgun is annoying. I'm going to do this. Come on. Savagery room. Okay, I got the ammo boost, which I really want. Vacuum is very useful. Actually, vacuum is not that important. This is also available here. This could be useful. But let's try savagery. 25 unique glory kills. What do you mean by unique? Cacodemon. The Cacodemons are monstrous psionic demons driven by the desire to feed. They display limited intelligence but are often sent into the fray as their natural size and abilities make them an intimidating weapon for the demon horde. Also, they spew fireballs. Or energy balls or whatever. Okay, so that was the rune trial. Now I need the Argent Cell. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, you left me some health packs. That's cute. Are there any others? Yay! But no armor. Okay. And uh, no door. Wait, so I need the Argent Cell, which is right here on the right. There's an armor piece I left behind the rune trial. Give me a second. That's nothing. Go back and climb and and it's under me. Right. Useful. Thank you. Not updated. Checkpoints. Shut up. Give me that. Give me that. You hell energy. Uh, more health, I think. Yeah. 
175. Good. Potion cell. Got it. Didn't miss anything else. Now I need that ammo and what the heck? Is that a booster? I think it's a booster. There's another one there and an objective. It's not even worth the ammo. You're a mess. Whoa! Excuse you! Okay. I wanted to see What's over here? Nothing. It's over there. Behind the shield, I can't reach. Yeah, there's also something behind that. That's where I need to go eventually. Lost souls! Excuse me. Huh. 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 Okay. Don't fall over. like you. Anyway, Argent Cell, Elite Guard number two, Secrets. Ah! That's covered, for some reason this isn't mapped, the rest of the stuff is... Wait, what? There's more below? Hang on a minute. Yeah, there is more below. And that makes sense, but that should be mapped. I 
God damn it! How the hell does that make any sense? Oh, you're right. Whoa. Chain gun. The Delta-12 chain gun, often referred to as the D-12 by operatives, is a high-velocity heavy weapon capable of suppressing multiple targets at once. Recent changes to the firing mechanism have pushed the Delta-12 to the physical limits of ballistic weapon. An argent-infused piston compresses gas within the firing crucible to over 220,000 psi. When released, this launches a 15mm tungsten slug with a muzzle velocity of nearly 5,000 feet per second. Regular uh, assault rifles usually shoot around a thousand feet per second. The heat generated by this action is siphoned into a thermal gel compound that automatically recharges the 96 volt battery pack. This allows the weapon to sustain an almost endless firing cycle as long as ammunition is present. The Delta 12 chain gun weighs 45 kilograms, making it a little but cumbersome armament. Okay. Lost souls. I don't think you can glory kill them. But these demons are found wandering aimlessly within the temples of hell as they search for a host to inhabit. When a potential victim is found, they will converge on the target and explode with a blast of hell energy. Lesser will beings weakened by the explosion will then be possessed by the demon and the host's soul becomes lost in turn. Tablets retrieved from the Corax suggest that the lost souls are considered the lowest of the demons. Yeah even lower than imps, since the wandering nomads, doomed to forever roam the halls of hell, thrive on the weakest entities, <coughs> lost souls are despised by the other demons, despite their lowly status, they should not be underestimated. Okay, yeah, you eat bullets. This is insane. I love it. Uh, environmental damage. Uh, no. That's full. Not at the moment. Okay, so got all of that. Yeah, that's for later. Someone's gonna eat a lot of bullets very soon. Okay, so I walked over here. And this should be considered mapped. Yeah. Excuse you. Also, why isn't this section considered mapped? Okay, that's a long way away. You need but to smash the stone. Let's smash some scots. Ow. What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah! Too powerful! Oh my god, stop that! Oh, 
Oh, it's terrible taste. What is everyone? Who else is shooting? Nope. Okay. So now will be nice. Wow, that was the other map. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, so I'm down there. I need to get up there. Ooh, there are several of those. Uh, take the left one first. Let's see about all of this. First. Teleporter. I do not want to use the teleporter right now. Go the other way. Over here. And then I'm up here. Is that a jump pad? That's a drone. And that's the doll. And that's where I want to be. I think that's a jump pad. Let's get the doll first. There it is. Red guy. Artifacts Doomreen. <laughs> okay. Without doubt, the UAC's most remarkable recent discovery was uncovered in its expedition to the Hell's Kadingir Sanctum. After several kilometers through nearly impassable terrain, the team discovered a sealed tomb, its entrance and walls covered in protective runes and imprisonment incantations. Once opened, the tomb revealed many artifacts, including the Praetor suit. Most notable, however, was an enormous sarcophagus bound to the center bedrock of the tomb with thick iron bands, seemingly anchored to prevent anything from getting in or out. Yeah, that looks familiar. It was initially believed the sarcophagus must hold a rare or powerful demon, but when later opened it revealed the body of a man. The body was not petrified or decomposed, in fact, he appeared to be only sleeping despite the fact that the bed he lay and seemed millennia old. Attempts to wake the man were fruitless and to harm him even more so as a protective urgent barrier around the body kept him safe from harm in a permanent stasis. <coughs> UAC archivists catalogued the discovery DM-15, but project personnel has soon dubbed him the Doom Marine. While the history of this man remains conjecture, the Helix Stone, as well as other artifacts found at the Argent Fracture and during the Hell Expedition of ECM-13, have shed some light on his identity. An etching in the Book of Deva, another discovery of the Kadingir Expedition, depicts the Doom Marine wearing the Praetor suit, Engaging demons in battle as a hooded figure looks on. Okay, reminds me of, of Heretic. This image had been previously observed numerous times in other artifacts, but only with the actual discovery of the Doom Marine and Praetor suit in the sealed Kadingir tomb have researchers begun to put other pieces together. 
It is now believed that the Dumerin might have been part of an ancient group or tribe, maybe even their leader. Whether he is a god, demon, or human will remain undetermined until the Argent barrier protecting his body can be deactivated. Further deepening the mystery of his origin, UAC remote monitoring drones in service during Kadinger expedition recorded a protected and deadly battle during the sarcophagus extraction, the demons attempting to defend the tomb with an instinctual ferocity previously unobserved. Once tethered and returned to the UAC, the sarcophagus was studied and first opened at the Lazarus Labs, but went missing a few weeks later. It was believed that Samuel Hayden had the body and Prato suit moved and hidden to keep it secure. Although why he considered it to be under threat is not known. Of final note, to date the Doom Marine and Samuel Hayden are the only known non-demon entities to successfully cross over from the Hell Dimension to our own, despite several attempts by other USC human personnel to do the same. The Kadingir Sanctum, the Blood Keep, also referred to as the Kadingir Sanctum, is a sprawling network of tunnels, catacombs, and temples that connect the wasteland Umbral Plains to the Great Steppe. It is believed that this area serves as a place of worship and vil vilification, as both hero and enemy can be found buried in tombs throughout the region. The area is inhibited by all manner of demons, including the possessed, the unwilling, lost souls, hell knights, and other non-classified creatures. The Project Lazarus Manned Expedition, MTC 2145-128, uncovered one tomb of particular interest. The temple was adorned with powerful holding runes and unique relics. Despite the complete loss of human life on the expedition, the relics were successfully returned by scout parts to the Lazarus Labs for processing and study. Unfortunately, records disappeared after the relics were sent to the Lazarus Labs and they are now presumed lost. Yeah, well, precision bolt, <laughs> siege mode. Hmm, precision bolt if anything. Gatling rotator. Pin up the chain gun without firing. Yes, that would be good. Hold the weapon mod button to transform weapon barrels into mobile turrets. It will stall if it overheats. So precision bolt or Gatling rotator. I'm taking precision bolt right now. Stop punching the bots. <laughs> 